Aries and Aries rising and those with their moon in Aries. Well, if you've seen my email, you saw that you're busy here in Gemini season, May 21st to June 21st. So June is quite busy for you. Lots of third house activities, which is communications, stuff going on in the head, lots of texts, lots of little short trips, some learning as well. We did get the new moon for you in May, which was in your first house. So new beginnings in your sense of self, your values, where you're going, could have been some new beginnings in the way you look or the way you present yourself in some way, your branding, could have been all sorts of stuff like that. But there's some big decisions to be made. When I look at your cards, okay? So these are our Lenormand cards coming out this summer, the power of eight chakra Lenormand. We do see some tough choices here. We see the crossroad, we see the snake, and we see the ring. So the ring means commitments, and the snake means trouble, and then the crossroads means decisions or options. And because the snake is next to the crossroads we see some difficult decisions or perhaps some complications on the road and because Aries you have a lot of little short trips and motor vehicle things going on here in June make sure you get things checked you could see some complications literally on the road but more deeper than that it's some kind of difficult decisions about new commitments. This could be with a person, this could be with jaw. Like it just depends on your chart, like your personal chart. I mean, I do see some energy in your fifth house of romance, of kids and creativity. So it could be some complicated decision-making going on with either whether those realms but your mind is very busy. Mercury is in the third house. This is all about in your head and uh, choices and learning things and all that stuff about short trips and communications. There's just a lot of busyness there. It could almost feel overwhelming and maybe it's hard to make choices. That's why the snake comes up could be hard choices because there's just too busy, busy, busy could be a case of just Focusing on what's important right now, Aries, and not so much on everything all at once, every single detail, right? Now, we do see Jupiter, the planet of expansion, in your second house of income, as well as the second house means your value. So at least, Aries, during this decision-making, you're going to realize that you are valuable, and you are. And so hopefully these tough decisions that you're making about the next thing, the contract, the next commitment, whatever that is for you, you're going to go with what is the valuable to you. What makes you feel aligned? What makes you feel good Aries? And that's what you should do. As well as we do have some kid energy. It could be just a case of being like a kid again, doing some fun things or hanging out with kids and getting their perspective. Kids are very simple because they haven't been programmed yet. And so when a kid makes a decision, they're always making a decision based on what feels best for them, right? What feels good to me? That's what I want, you know? And so maybe that's part of, can help you with these new decision-making things that you have to do here. All right, so there you go, Aries. And if you want your own personal reading where we dive deep into your charts and cards, contact me at www.themoontree.org. See you in the next one.